Hello everyone, and welcome to Hacking Evergreen. I'm your host, Blake Graham Henderson, and I'll be walking you through step by step on how to hack Evergreen. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download some tools on our basic Windows machine here. We're going to go to our just plain old edge. We're going to go to ninite.com, and we're going to download Chrome because we don't like Edge, and Notepad++, the JDK, Putty, and Eclipse. Download it and run the file. Here we go, and while that's downloading, we're gonna go to another website, and that is virtualbox.org. Here we're gonna click on Downloads, and we're gonna click on Windows Hosts and download that file to our hard drive. Just save it into the default Downloads folder. 1604 ISO image, go to their website and download the server install image for Ubuntu and save that to your hard drive. And there they are. So we're gonna double click on VirtualBox and run through the installer. Here we go, next, 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 and yes, install. And we are done. Now we're going to go ahead, yeah, we'll go ahead and launch it. We're gonna make a new virtual machine. And we're gonna call it Ubuntu. Change the amount of RAM, we're gonna go two gigs. Um, let's uh, go ahead and create a hard drive. And yep, just defaults, fine. 10 gigs a little low, let's change that to 30 gigs. And create. Here we go, we got our uh, basic machine. We're gonna, we're gonna go to settings, and go to storage, and insert that ISO image that we downloaded from Ubuntu's website. And go to the downloads folder and then we click it. We're gonna go ahead while we're here and, and bump up the processor to from one to two if you have enough on your machine. Just give it a little more breathing room. Press OK on there. And now we're gonna start it right up. We're gonna run through the installation of Ubuntu server. And here we go, just English, press enter. It's basically just press enter a whole bunch. Enter, choose your country. No, press enter, choose your language. Keyboard layout, enter, enter. The host name doesn't matter, Ubuntu is just fine. We'll leave it Ubuntu. And the username we're gonna use is user. And the password is going to be password. You can of course choose whatever you want. Uh, time zone, press enter. And I'm going to use non LVM. There's our hard drive, 30 gigs. Press enter. Press the left, left arrow, press enter on writing changes to the disk. Press enter on that. Unless you have a proxy server. No automatic updates is fine. Press enter. We're going to add the OpenSSH server here on these options. And go ahead and press enter on the Grub bootloader. Done. We've installed Ubuntu server on a virtual machine. It's a piece of cake. Now I'm gonna close it, power it off. I'm gonna make another change in the settings. So let's click on settings, go to the network, and by default it adds a, a standard a network adapter in the NAT configuration, and you can just leave that alone. And we're going to add a second adapter, a host only adapter. So you click adapter two, turn it on, and change it to host only. That's it, you press OK. And we're gonna start it back up. Here we go, that's Ubuntu standard boot up sequence and we're at the login prompt. And we can log in with our user with the password password that we created during the installation process. And there we have it. We have installed the Ubuntu server on a virtual machine on Windows. Thank you for watching so very much, and we'll see you in the next video.